Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a fuel pressure leak for less than $10. Uh, and basically, we're going to do that just by inserting this check valve into the fuel line. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do that. What we have here, this is actually, um, this is a check valve. Now this is, is made for fuel. Uh, you want to make sure that when you pick one up that it is one that's made for fuel. This particular one you can get on eBay. I picked this one up for, I believe it was like $5.55. They're very inexpensive. Now this particular one is rated for up to uh, 90 PSI. Um, the vehicle it's going into has a maximum um, fuel pressure of uh, 45 to 46. So this is going to be perfect for that. Um, you want to make sure that this diameter matches the inner diameter of the, of the, uh, the fuel hose that's going into. This particular one is a 3 8 but you want to make sure that you get that as well. And then you have an arrow right here which shows that's the direction of the fuel. So we're going to put this one into the fuel line as the fuel is coming from the um, fuel sending unit and then headed up towards the, the fuel rail so that way the fuel is flowing in this direction with the arrow. Um, because that check valve is going to open and close in that direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll go under the vehicle and we'll uh, go ahead and get things ready so we can insert this. Okay, here we are underneath. This right here, right here we have, uh, right here, this is the fuel line where the fuel sending unit is sending it through to the fuel filter, which is right there. What we're going to do is we're going to cut this line right here and insert the check valve right in here so as the fuel passes here it won't let it come back in and it'll maintain the pressure at the rail and solve our problem. So I'm going to go ahead make the cut here and then we'll insert the uh, the check valve. Now let me clarify um, that this is not always going to be the solution for every fuel pressure leak or loss of fuel pressure. You're going to have to run the appropriate uh, tests to make sure that the issue is not with the fuel pump or on the fuel rail, the fuel lines, the fuel pressure regulator, the fuel injectors. Once you check all that out and those all test fine, then chances are you're losing it on the return valve coming back to the fuel tank. There's normally a check valve inside the fuel tank and sometimes those can fail or you can have a leak. That's where this solution comes in handy because then you can stop it after the fuel leaves the tank preventing it from coming back. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and get a uh, fuel pressure test off of it and I'll show you how we're having the rapid decline with that leak and then we'll show it afterwards after we put the valve in we'll see how it's uh, stabilized. So we have this piece of hose that we removed um, that we saw underneath. This is pretty much going from the fuel sending unit to the fuel filter. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this uh, inline fuel check valve and in insert it right there. So what we're going to do is make an incision here. I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Cut it probably right here. There we go. And as mentioned before, you want to make sure that the inner diameter matches the diameter of, the, of this barbed uh, insert so it can go in there. So what we'll do now is go ahead and put that on. Okay, that fits good. Went ahead and connected everything here. Um, the, the old fuel line had to be discarded. It was just breaking apart and just rough. So we went ahead and put... New hoses on here, connected to the barbed ends, um, got them in as far as they would go. We've got uh, approximately about a quarter of an inch, a little bit more on each side, and then we got it strapped tight. So now we're going to head underneath the car, put the two uh, fuel lines in here, keeping in mind, as mentioned earlier, that you follow the direction of the arrow for the flow of the fuel. So let's head underneath and put that on. There you go. Here's the uh, inline fuel check valve that was installed. You can see right there, there's your fuel filter. We have the line coming through here. There's where we attached it. And then it goes up to the fuel sending unit from the fuel tank. So the fuel's coming through, hitting that, passing through the filter up to the fuel rail. If it tries to come back down, that is then stopping it from doing that, maintaining the pressure.
and you can see now it's pretty much holding the pressure where before it was losing it. So that solved their issue. Well, that pretty much wraps up this episode of Andy's Garage. Um, I hope this video helped you out. Please send any questions, any comments. Um, as always, we appreciate your support, so please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'm always posting new videos each week, and we'll see you next time.